Hello everyone, we will continue that topic search help exit and in the previous video we discussed search help exit is a function module and why why we are going for search help exit so that we can write the logic related to the search help. So we created a search help exit and we assigned into this elementary search help. So whatever the search help exit or function module is there, it has the predefined interface. Predefined interface means parameters are fixed. We cannot go for our own parameters. Two parameters are the part of changing two parameters are the part of tables and these are the predefined or fixed parameters we will never never change because it is all about search help exit now what we will do in this video we will understand the meaning of these four parameters because once these four parameters are clear, it will be very, very easy to write the logic because ultimately it's whole game of these four parameters only. So we have two parameters in the changing, SHLP and call control. What is SHLP? This parameter is for current search help or single search help. So whatever the current search help is going on, this parameter will give us the information of the same. So this SHLP will always gives the information of the current search help. Now, what is this call control? This parameter is for control of the search help process or we can say control of the F4 process. This parameter is extremely, extremely important because ultimately everything is based upon this call control. It gives us the control information of the search help. Means whatever the control step is going on. Anyways, whenever I will show you in the debugging mode, you will see the value of call control, how it is changing. So this parameter always, always has the control information of the search help. Whatever the control step is going on, within this parameter, we will get that particular information. Now in the tables, in the tables, we have two parameters shlp underscore tab and record underscore tab. See in the changing, the parameter name is shlp and in tables, the parameter name is shlp underscore tab. So this parameter will act as a internal table. Internal table means we will find a table, we will find the list of elementary search help. This parameter will only only give the information of the single or current search help, whatever the current search help is going on. But this parameter has the information of all the elementary search help. Just go for simple example, collective search help is a combination of elementary search help. So at that time, in this SHLP underscore tab, we will get all the elementary search help, which are the part of collective search help. But in this SHLP, at a time, only we will get the information of single search help or elementary search help. So two different parameters itself. In SHLP underscore tab, the information of all the elementary search help and in SHLP, we have only the information of the current search help. Now we have record underscore tab, word itself is saying 
it is a table for the records it is a table for the data so whatever the output or whatever the data we are getting into the search help ultimately it will come into this internal table ultimately it is a game of these four parameters only so we have four parameters but this one is shlp which is a parameter for current search help call control is a control information of the search help whatever the control step is going on in the f4 process or search help process it is everything every information into this parameter now in tables we have shlp underscore tab which is a parameter for the all the elementary search help it is a table it is a table parameter now record underscore tab it is a table for the records table for the data whatever we are getting in the search help now what i will do i will put a break point into the this particular search help exit or whatever the function module is there i will show you the values of these four parameters because without debugging you cannot achieve the requirement in case of search help exit so we need to understand each and everything in the debugging board so firstly i will show you the values of these four parameters in the debugging mode then we will take a requirement and we will proceed further so what i will do i will go to this function module or search help exit i will firstly come in whatever the code which sap already provided i will come in. it's a very good documentation which is given by sap itself and we will use this documentation also i am activating this function module now i will put a break for it now i will run this search help whenever i will run this search help this search help has this search help exit it means whenever i will run this search help this search help have exit code will execute and i put a break point so system will stop there i am running this particular search help we always have to ignore this pop up i am doing it and system will stop into the debugging mode now i entered into debugging mode first most important point i am running a single search help single search help i am not running a collective search help it means you have single search help you whenever you have a single search help it means your current search help and the table of search help has the same to same value it means this table parameter and whatever the parameter is for current search help both will give you same to same value and it is obviously understood also if you have a single search help it means your current search help and the table of search help both have the same to same thing suppose if i will show you the table parameter this is our table parameter just see this is the name of our search help yes this is the name of our search help because we have single search help itself now if i will go to this particular structure also but in which we have the information for the single search help if i will go have you seen same to same information is there because we have only only single search help now i showed you this two parameters now i will show you call control i told you this is extremely extremely important step important parameter sorry this is extremely important parameter now if i will show you call control if i will open this you can see as of now call control what is the value of the step cell 1 anyways i will explain what is the meaning of all these steps ultimately this whole game 
is the part of is is a ultimately the whole game is of this step itself as of now which step is going on self now i will show you this particular record tab just see as of now record tab is blank zero records in the record tab i am doing f8 i am doing f8 now just see shlp underscore tab same to say because we have a single search help now just see shlp single search help because our total we have one search help itself so our current and the tables of search help same to same now just see here call control step previously we have call control step if you remember it was cell one now it is pre cell one and just see as of now record underscore tab still has zero values i am doing f8 again same to same shlp the table of elementary search help one current search help yes this is our current search help also now just see what is call control step pre cell have you seen the steps are changing because ultimately this parameter is controlling the search help this parameter has the control information and everything is a game of this step itself. Now, record underscore step still blank. I am doing F8. Now you can see we got a pop-up. Why this pop-up? Because we have a search help dialog with value restriction. I am doing OK. Now I am doing OK. Now just see shlp tab one search help shlp one because we have a current search help and total search help are same now just see call control step have you seen the call control step is select now see how it is changing we have cell one pre-cell one pre-cell and now this is select now i am doing f8 now after select anyways i will explain after select only that data will come into this record tab because you know after select only that data will come into this record tab i am doing f8 have you seen record underscore tab filled with 18 records and just see what is call control step it is dis dismiss display now it will display that data Anyway, there's nothing to worry. Uh, we have a separate two to three videos on this call, call control step itself. As of now, I'm explaining only the four parameters to you. Now, if you see record underscore tab, we have 18 records. Just see order number one, order number two, order number three, order number four, date. We have payment mode, total amount, currency. This whole information we will be able to see. And what is call control step? It is display. Now we will be able to see. Just see, we are able to see the data and these are 18 records. Now I am selecting a record. And whenever I am selecting a record, just see what is call control step. Call control step is return. Because you ultimately returned the record. But nothing to worry. Anyways, I'll explain each and every step. And just see, previously record underscore tab has 18 records. Now, have you seen record underscore tab has one dedicated record which we selected. So, this is not a game. People think, okay, search help is giving the values. Ultimately, it is whole game of the code itself which is written in the search help exit. Now I will simply, simply do F8. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained the four parameters of this particular search help. What are those four, par what are those four parameters of the search help exit? Sorry for the search help exit. 1, 2 are the part of changing, 2 are the part of tables. This SHLP information of the current search help. 
word itself is saying search help. Call control gives the control information of the search help. And I showed you in that debugging mode, one most important component step, how it is changing, that is totally, totally game in case of search help exit. It has the whole control information. And from interview perspective, every interview consists of this, but uh, what you did with those particular steps. Now in tables, this is the table for the elementary search help. And in this particular table, we will get the records or the data. Then what I did, I put a breakpoint and I showed you. In our current example, SHLP and SHLP tab, both are same because we have single search help. So table parameter also give you single search help. Current search help is also same to same. So your total search help and current search help both are same. Then I showed you this call control, how the steps are changing. Firstly, we got cell one, pre-cell one, pre-cell select, disp return. Anyways, I will explain all these steps. Then in this particular SHLP tab, we have a single, single information. We have a information of the single search help and record underscore tab this particular internal table field after the select step because we all know that records always always come after the select statement then after that we have record underscore tab whenever the step become returned so in this record underscore tab we have single single record in the next video I will show you these four parameters for the collective search help so that you can understand what is SHLP and what is SHLP underscore tab. So that's it in this video. Thank you.